Hey y'all, I am back to tell you about that mocha mask or coffee chocolate mask, whatever you want to do. I've got my fresh coffee grounds, my chocolate, um, a special facial oil cleanser I make on my own that's going to be listed down the doobly doo, and honey. Um, so I don't think these coffee grounds are quite as finely ground as I would like. So I take and I put them in my own little hand grinder thing. I don't remember what this is called, but most of us have one. If you don't, Plain old coffee grounds, ground with whatever you got will do it. Coffee is loaded with antioxidants to prevent um, mature skin aging. It has anti-inflammatory property to reduce redness. It gets rid of puffy eyes and reduces dark circles. And on the body, it actually minimizes the appearance of cellulite temporarily. Um, it also exfoliates dry skin, so that's pretty awesome. Honey is a natural humectant. That means it draws in moisture from the air and into the skin. It's also a pore cleanser and clarifier, possible skin lightener, although I have never seen that effect, and a natural antibacterial. Um, now, I only took about four to five tablespoons of ground coffee, and oops, I almost broke that. That would have been very bad. Um, and so I'm going to just go ahead and put that back into my natural glass bowl here, and I'll tell you the benefits of chocolate here while I'm doing that. Uh, chocolate has um, flavonoids in it, and that absorbs UV light. So it helps protect and increase blood flow to the skin and improves skin's hydration and really helps with the complexion. Though I couldn't find anything great and specific about it, but it does make this um, whole mask smell awesome. Uh, so um, now I'm going to go ahead and add the chocolate. I would forgotten a spoon. So I'm going to add just two teaspoons see one and I think I added two maybe three I'm guessing and they're a little heaping not bad two uh, teaspoons of chocolate and then I'm going to add just about three pumps of this now as an alternative you could either add plain water if you'd like or you can add plain yogurt um, either one of those will work just as wonderfully um, I just like my facial oil because of the benefits that I'll also link down below for you. So you can make your own. Or maybe I'll just do a video of how to make my facial oil and tell you all the benefits of that. Now honey, um, I just added in about a tablespoon of honey. Um, and I'm doing this all kind of by how I want the consistency of this mask. This mask is going to be a little runny and that's fine. But um, we want it to be able to spread and that's the big key. So if you see, I've already got it kind of runny and it looks like it's turning out pretty well. I'm sorry my hands are kind of in the way. I did this twice and I still end up with my hands a little bit in the way because I can't hang my camera from the ceiling for some reason. Not quite yet, anywho. So, all that's getting ready. And I think that that's it. It's all nice and ready for us. Let me show you the consistency one more time. Yeah, I remembered that I forgot and I remembered again. So it looks gross, but you will not think it's gross when you're mixing this up. It smells wonderful. It smells like you could eat it, which you could actually. Um, it's all made out of edible and decent ingredients, depending on what kind of mix you put in with the oil. Now, this is the beautiful picture. I almost forgot to film this. That's why there's some on my face already. Of me spreading this on my face. And it is not easy to spread. If you get a glob on your face and then you just spread it around lightly with your fingers, you're not trying to rub it into the skin, but lightly across the skin. Similar to painting a canvas um, with some ground coffee. So, it's not that easy, but it does work very, very um, easily, sort of. You've got to get it over your sink. Um, make sure if you don't have it over your sink, you at least have it with a towel or something underneath you uh, so that you can um, yeah, spread it easily without worrying too much about what's dropping off because a lot of it does drop off. Um, and then make sure to get your hair back and out of your face. I know I have an ugly headband on here, but it works. It keeps my hair from getting coffee and honey and oil in it. So that way when I wash my face, I don't have to wash my hair again. You understand the point, right? Yeah, I'm sure you do. So after I've got it on, I pretty much fill in all the gaps. Want to get my under chin thing because that's not a very happy place on my body. But um, it does work, and I'm including some more underneath my eyes because it does reduce puffiness and dark circles. And I found that this really did help with um, clarifying and um, 
reducing pores. At least that's what I saw. Here is a delightful picture of me afterwards in my nice robe and cup of coffee. And now we got to wait 20 minutes. Yay! And that is the coffee chocolate mask. Uh, it really smells awesome. Mask. You want to leave it on for about 20 minutes or more and really let the uh, benefits sink in. And, and I do want to clarify, you do not have to use the facial oils that I do. Uh, that is just something I have on hand and so I chose to use it because it has a, a lot of other benefits to them. Um, but you don't have to do that. You can just do the coffee, the chocolate. Uh, if you really want to have an additional kind of, of um, a good ingredient, you could add plain yogurt if you wish. Uh, you could add just water if you wish. Um, but with just the coffee, the chocolate, and the honey, you're going to have a lot of great ingredients to get you great benefits. Um, I will include the benefits of the oils and things as well and how I make that um, and in the information box as well so that you guys can do it if you want to. I have found some great results with that oil and it's something that doesn't cost me much to do. Uh, so I hope you guys try it. I hope you enjoy it and know that I did not show you me removing it Not only because obviously the lighting in my bathroom is really bad If you do not remove that over the sink, it's going to create an awful mess And even putting it on over the sink is a great idea um, As well as the fact that I am pretty gosh darn shy when it comes to showing you guys my naked face. So uh, maybe I'll overcome that and we'll get to know each other a little bit better and I won't feel so strange about it. But for right now, there's only a few people in the world that see my naked face. Um, it's my husband and my family because they have to tolerate me come as, it, as I may. And also, um, uh, most other people think that I'm sick if they see me without makeup, and I'm not. I just have dark circles and all that other nonsense that comes. Then there's other nonsense that comes with getting older. I've had dark circles my whole life. So anyway, I um, hope to see you again soon. Keep, um, keep tuned in for new videos. Subscribe so you get those little indications that uh, I have posted a new video. And uh, you guys all take care. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.